And then you have Dolph Ziggler, a man who spends about as much time complaining about not getting enough big opportunities as he does actually wrestling. Look, Dolph speaks his mind and tells the truth. Also, he's so good in the ring, his matches are usually just really short. And here's Finn Balor. Finn Balor going for it in full control. Look Damn. at Finn Balor here. Into the tie-up they go, but who's going to end up with the upper hand? I know the physical and emotional pain of dealing with a serious injury. When Finn Balor had to surrender his WWE Universal Championship to Raw Commissioner Mick Foley the night after SummerSlam 2016, you could see the disappointment in Balor's eyes. As the Demon King was unleashed, history was made when Finn Balor defeated Seth Rollins to become the first ever WWE Universal Champion. But to see Finn have to forfeit the championship 24 hours later due to his severe shoulder injury was heartbreaking. Seeing Finn Balor have to give the championship he won the day before back because he sustained a serious injury was one of the more emotional nights I've ever experienced since becoming a WWE broadcaster. Here we go with Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler making a move. And now Dolph Ziggler is pushing forward. Oh, nasty impact. Wicked Man. body shot. Well-measured strike. An early pin attempt. One. Plenty of fight left. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Guys, I can't help but be reminded of when Dolph Ziggler first arrived on the scene and introduced himself before every match. I think it's fair to say everybody knows who Dolph Ziggler is now, though. Oh, man, vicious elbows. Boom, what a kick. Balor with the kick, Balor on the move. Basement drop kick. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler turns it around. And Ziggler makes him think twice. That's what Ziggler does. Oh, 
Oh, solid contact there. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Hooked up, and... Down! The Jinoku driver! Ziggler may be in trouble here. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. And here we go, Finn Balor with the cover! kick out. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. As Michael alluded to, Dolph Ziggler has gone from introducing himself to making his name known. And Corey Ziggler earned that reputation by beating some of sports entertainment's biggest names. Oh, you're right, Byron. Heck, Ziggler even rid WWE of the authority when he was the sole survivor at the 2014 Survivor Series. Look at Finn Balor here. Suplex. Right up. And the referee starts his 10 count. Oh, nice man. calf kick, great elevation.
There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Monkey flip. The demon is truly taking over now. He's in non-stop attack mode. Dolph Ziggler strutting and yapping. Who does this methodical pace benefit? Boom, what a forearm. Bringing it back into the ring. a message there. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Dolph Ziggler connected with a good shot there. I got all of that one. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Balor looking on his game right now. Balor backing it up. Some might remember seeing him as a caddy or a cheerleader. But once Dolph Ziggler debuted on Raw in 2008, the show off's been stealing the show in winning WWE gold. He goes for the cover. can absorb a lot more punishment than that. Zegner was also an amateur wrestling star at Kent State University, and in WWE, Dolph's held the World Heavyweight Championship, Intercontinental title, and U.S. Championship. The man is also a former Mr. Money in the Bank. The self-proclaimed show-off is one of the WWE's most beloved and thrilling superstars.
Up and... Opportunity for him now. Finn Balor can draw the curtains on this one. Can he do it here? propelled Finn Balor to victory. expected anything less from a match here at Extreme Rules. That was the absolute definition of vicious.